Thank you. A little bit of for questions. We've got a couple of volunteers in each aisle, so just flag one of them down. Um, when I pick on you for uh, for a question, go ahead and start up. Uh, Dean McNulty, Toronto Sunwell. Uh, everybody here, you know, new car. Everybody got the new car, new engines, and yet the, the, look at the top of the leaderboard. It really looks familiar over the past four seasons with uh, Penske Ganassi up there. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Just to better teams. I mean, they've got more resources, more money. They will employ the best drivers and the best people. So they get on top of things more quickly. So that's the reason they're always at the front. Uh, Ryan, on, on, the, down here, on the circuit itself, uh, turn one looks pretty bumpy. Is it going to be an issue on starts, restarts? Yeah, it looks, looks bumpy. Um, Riding around on the golf cart yesterday, and, and uh, I think it might have been even bumpier down the inside. So I um, haven't really run down there today, but it is it is bumpy. Turn one's always a mess here, you know. Um, I think that we've gotten a better handle on the double file restart since we were here last year. So hopefully it goes a bit smoother. But um, you know the bumps certainly add to you know the unpredictability of. Uh, getting into turn one, especially when you're running side by side. And, and what about the new curbing? Last year you could just drive over the top of some of these corners, and now you've got to really kind of stay away from it. How is that affecting the line, and it will affect passing? It's, it's, um, I think, you know, they've done a great job putting in permanent curbs because, you know, the bollards were coming up and we were getting loose bolts and so on last year, which was certainly a hazard. So I think this curbing is, is an improvement. Um, there are a couple of corners where you just want to stay off them. And, um, you know, I guess we'll have to see in the race if, if that becomes, you know, a problem or not. But, um, you know, so far, just for, for running sort of on your own and putting in lap times, I think, I think they're quite good and you can nick them. Um, you can use a couple around the track. Um, we are a little bit worried yesterday, sort of talking about turn 12, the high speed chicane, because if you get forced onto that one, you know, it might send a car um, into that outside wall, which, which might be a bit dangerous. So that was the only sort of corner I think we were a little bit skeptical about. John? Sorry, you guys have already been asked this, but was today the hardest you've pushed the EW12 so far? Did you push harder than the testing, and how much more is there to come tomorrow? Um, no, definitely not. I mean, we pushed it really hard in testing, and I mean, as the track grip come, comes up, push push accordingly, and lap times drop. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, it's you're, you're seeing it being as pushed as, as it can, as hard as it can be. I think every time everyone's out. The Bruce and the Nate. Do you guys want to see more horsepower? I know that a lot of drivers out there are like, you know, this is a good car, but we can stand a little more boost, a little more horsepower out here. Where do you guys weigh in on that? No question. I think I would love to see more horsepower, something like it was in Champ Car. Um, you know, because the car's actually got a lot more grip now, um, but it really has no more, it probably has a little bit more top end horsepower, but it's not, not you know, I think he, this car would handle a lot of power. How much more would you like? <laughs> and Ryan, another 150, I think. It's not. You know, like Rick Mears says, says, until you're not wheel spinning before the brake zone, you don't have enough power. So yeah. take as much as you give us. Exactly. <laughs> keep keep pushing that boost up. <laughs> uh, Nate Ryan, you said following up on Dean's question for both of you guys. Uh, the fact that the Penske Ganassi dominance kind of continued with the top six today, are you expecting that still could change Sunday? Because there was a lot of talk in the preseason that with all the unpredictability that, you know, that there could be more underdog stories at least early in the year. Do you, do you think that's still a possibility for, for Sunday's race? Uh, you, you never know in the race. I mean, I think no one has really expected anything less than seeing Penske and Ganassi on top. But, um, you know, the, the race, that we don't know. There's a lot of things that we're going to learn this weekend in the race with this new car and um, there's no doubt there's a lot of stout competition out there other than the two teams we're talking about but um, I think you know we sort of 
but Penske and, and Ganassi are, are always the team setting the, the standards and, and the goals for everyone else to reach. Eric? Uh, I kind of wanted to go back to the horsepower question because what I understand is that the ovals will have 550 horsepower and the road courses you will have, is it 700 or 750? I think it's 700. Well, I was curious whether you're getting what you're supposed to get out of the cars. And I don't know if you know that from your display or information in the car. Oh, I don't think anyone knows the numbers. I think that's just a rough estimate of what the series wanted. You know, I mean, I think these engines are probably getting close, must be getting close to 700 on the road courses, maybe. I mean, back to your question, running less horsepower on the oil, that's, that's just a direction of the series so that we'll run less downfalls and get the speed back with less drag. And, um, you know, the goal is to run, you know, similar speeds to what we have been and to achieve that with less horsepower and um, make us drive the cars a bit more on the oval. Hey, Jeff and then Bruce. Yeah, Jeff Bowman, Bruce Bowman, Bruce Sorry to ask you some of the personal questions in person setting, but um, it's obviously an emotional weekend for everybody, and Sunday will probably be especially emotional with the stuff with Dan. How, how do you guys balance honoring somebody and focusing on your job and putting it out of your mind to go racing? Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, once you get your helmet on and you're in the car, that's it. You, you focus on the job at hand, um, but yeah, pre-race and all that, we'll be honouring Dan, um, and no question you'll be thinking about, you know, about him and what happened, and, um, yeah, but, you know, that's, as a driver, you just got to put it out of your head once you get in that car and, and get on with, um, you know, get on with driving. Bruce. On a lighter note, how good do you think this package is going to be on a natural terrain road course like in Ohio? Oh, it'll be fast. I mean, the car has a lot of a lot of downfalls, uh, good brakes. Um, you know, I think we'll be, you know, I, I believe we'll be setting track records all over the place this year. Uh, yeah, I mean, just with the testing we've done, it's, there's no question it's, it's faster in the fast corners. Yeah, I mean, it's just like Ryan said, it'll be breaking that records everywhere. The car, as we stand out at turn 10, the car looks smoother going through all, through all there. It just looks more stable, more solid. Does it feel that way, or are you working harder we just can't see it? It, it feels that way, just because there's downfalls. It is just more stuck, easier to drive, no question. Yeah. With the new Brembo brake situation, have you guys had to change your uh, style of attacking the corner using this type of braking? Uh, you just got to adapt to the different power from the brakes. I mean, the, they they have a higher performance um, throughout the brake zone, and you just need to adjust accordingly. I mean, at the beginning of the year, we sort of had to think about you know different master cylinder sizes and stuff, but uh, the brake is very solid. I mean, it's it's a very durable brake with, with high performance. Um, it's good from you know cold to hot, and uh, you know seemed to last a long way. So you know the brake package, in my opinion, is very strong. Anybody else? All right. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Welcome.